Hello, this is Josh of Meadow Hill News. And I'm Faith. This just in, a NASA, in NASA, scientists are tracking a UFO that has just entered the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is the layer of gases that protects the Earth. It also contains Earth's weather. It's mostly made out of nitrogen and oxygen. It also contains dust particles, cloud droplets, and r rain and snow. They form water vapor. That's right, Faith. I'm getting an update that the craft is nearing the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is Earth's water about three quarters is Earth's water. About three quarters of Earth is covered by a thin layer of water that can take the form of oceans, glaciers, rivers, lakes, groundwater, and water vapor. Most of the hydrosphere is salt water, but only a tiny part of the hydrosphere is fresh water. If the alien ship crashed into the hydrosphere, there would be a big tsunami. For more information, we now go to the shore of the hydrosphere. Thank you, Faith. I'm for reporting live where aliens have just plunged deep into the hydrosphere. We are unable to see the craft and unsure of their intentions at this time. However, oh, 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 we are experiencing some seismic activity over here. Seismic waves are an indirect way of studying the Earth's interior. Direct, direct evidence is waves scientists use rock samples as clues about Earth's structure and condition. Earthquakes produce seismic waves which, which scientists record see the structure of the planet. I wonder if this has anything to do with the UFO. What do you think, Charles? What do you think? Thank you, Ferd. More strange news is pouring in as we go live in the field with Logan, who is witnessing some colossally constructive forces. Word, dudes. What's fresh? I'm on a scene where a mountain has been spontaneously created. I've never seen anything like this. The plate tectonics are really shifty. Here I have a local witness, Elaine. What did you see? Howdy. I was outside gardening my plants when all of a sudden there was a green flash. Next thing I knew, my house was on a mountain. My dog but he's still up there eating all my food. Interesting story, Elena. Word, dudes, I've got some groovy facts for all of you sitting at home. Constructive forces are forces that construct or build up mountains, volcanoes, and islands. Forces occur on Earth's crust. This happens due to tectonic plates colliding during a long period of time. But due to the stinking aliens, there's a volcano over the head. Word, dudes, tune in next time. Oh no, it's the lizard people! <laughs> wow, that is incredible. We're trying to get to the core of this. No one has seen the alien spacecraft reemerge from the hydrosphere, but geologists have a theory of what's behind these natural disasters. For more, we now go to our resident Earth scientist, Dr. Grace. Thank you, Faith and Josh. I believe the spaceship is disrupting the Earth's core and is causing these bizarre events. The core is a very center of Earth and consisting of two layers. The layers are the inner core and the outer core. The outer core is a layer of molten metal that is 200 and 288 kilometers thick. The inner core is a solid, dense ball containing oxygen, sulfur, <coughs> sulfur and sil silicon. The inner core squeezes the atoms of iron, nickel, so that much that it cannot spread apart. One of our analysts drew a picture of what she thought she saw, so based off this, my theory is that these alien goats have horn, uh, unicorn horns and a, a rainbow pattern. They live on a goat cheese moon, moon. They wanted to have warm food, so they came down to Earth to eat the core. The absence of the core is causing the top two layers, the crust and the mantle, to cave in. The core used to be the source of convection currents because of the heat, but no more source means no more current, which caused the crust and mantle to move. Oh jeepers, that's the warning though. Everybody, let's go in. We have to evacuate back. Well, this is not good news for the biosphere. This is Josh signing off. Stay inside, lock your doors, and don't die. And this is Faith signing off. Thank you for watching Meadow Hill News. See you never.
science.